interpreted. Because if I tell you what you will experience, and everyone will have different experiences. Now, if I tell you about experiences, then your mind will start concentrating on a particular particular experience, and it could be false. That is why I shall not tell you what experience you have, but tomorrow morning we can have a small discussion about your experiences. You were bound at that coast uh, in England? Yeah. Well, fine. Um, another announcement. Easter is coming. And when you have your main meal of the day, your dinner, you leave a place for me. Everyone around the world is doing it. What you do is use a pure white plate, no designs on it. And put it at the place. And one flower on it. Hmm? That will be my place at your table in your homes. Before eating, meditate for about 15 minutes. And you will see what will happen. Okay. Right. That is on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Huh? Fine. It's a very, very holy day, very important day. Good. Now, what shall I speak about today? Um, well, <laughs> 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 well that, um, um, I think you can take both. Yeah. Well, I also had some some questions about what you talked about yesterday. Maybe I can give you all of them, and you can answer all of them. Hey, let's take it step by step. Okay. Don't jump down a seven-story building. Use the steps to come down. Well, well, <laughs> okay. um, um, how do descended masters keep on working for the evolution of mankind? Descended or ascended? Uh, both. Ascended. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or both. Well, okay. Young man, go to please him. And you talked about yesterday, the, the ego uh, disappeared. So I wondered, uh, when a master's body um, is discarded, how will he keep on working for mankind, if he does it? Right, very good. So, um, uh, there's something called the Great White Brotherhood of Ascended Masters. Forget it. Okay. There's no such thing. Next. <laughs> well, what about the first question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, he spurt but then in the in obvious master whom um fossil man Yeah, descended or ascended. You see I understand him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it died uh for lack of the spurt the so many start on the Masters come down to the earth. Those, there are particular masters called true masters, they are called avatars. Hmm. Or incarnations of divinity. 
Now they do not come down uh, by their own will. But the things that are happening on the planet uh, where evil is rising too much and people are focusing their attention on the sufferings too much hmm? and they direct that feeling, that trouble, the turmoil, the suffering to the master. So will the lidelser, so that their tanker and lidelser and smerte will know uh, mestrene. Then the ascended master descends in body form. Um, Jan, I will godt have you to explain what the word is, the descended or ascended. Om jeg har ordet det rundt, altså ascend betyder... Oh. Ascend to go up, descend to come down. <laughs> yeah, so it is the total atmospheric structure of the world's a thought that makes the master come down. <laughs> And that is how Buddha Krishna Christ came down. Og det var på den måde, at Buddha Kristus uh, inkarnerede. So, when there's too much suffering going on, he takes birth from age to age, as the Gita says. Han siger, så uh, vil mesterne inkarnere fra tid til tid, der gang det onde rejser sig. Now, there are certain masters that are in total self-realization and in unity with God. But they always sit on the fence. They can very easily merge away totally into divinity. At will, and they can also come down here at will. <laughs> Those true masters have one purpose in life. <laughs> is to teach people the better path of life towards divinity. Om en vej til, hen imod det They do this not only by words of wisdom, but their very presence is a blessing to the world and lessens evil. Men selve deres tilstedeværelse er en velsignelse til jorden og er med til at mindske mørket. I can tell you of my experiences why I live in Cape Town, which many people ask me. Because people say that in so many other countries we are so welcome, you could live a peaceful life instead of all the apartheid and segregation laws. Og mange mennesker siger til mig, hvorfor flytter du ikke til et andet land, for eksempel hvor vi bor, hvor du er så meget mere velkommen, hvor du bor, at der er apartheidstyre, og der er ret diskrimination. I stay in South Africa for one main purpose. For et eneste forhold. And thanks to the grace of God, that I have been able to prevent a lot of bloodshed. Og takket være Guds nåde, har jeg været i stand til at forhindre en masse blodsukker. The black people in South Africa are five to one white. Den sorte befolkning i Afrika er i forhold til størrelsesforholdet fem, til en, fem mod en hvid. Når vi studerer the history of the all of Africa, man studerer hele Afrikas historie, 
you will find in all these other countries, like Uganda, the Congo, Tanzania, and others, Zimbabwe, all had rivers of blood flowing. So you can see in the different countries in Africa that they all have great blood flowing. Um, in South Africa, there has been skirmishes, little fights, little riots, hmm? but not the bloodshed that is in the other countries. So, I am in the position of sending forth energies and negotiating with the higher-ups to prevent this. Så jeg er i stand til at uh, sende energier ud og uh, forhandle med de høje herrer for at undgå disse blodsudbyggelser. Mm. Good. And knowing the higher-ups from the cabinet governmental level, there, there are a lot of things that I was able to achieve. Jeg kender en hel del af de mennesker, som styrer landet og i uh, afdelingerne, så har jeg været i stand til at hvad med til at ændre en del af tingene der? For example, I give you one example. In Durban, which is 1300 miles away from Cape Town. Jeg giver et eksempel. For eksempel i Durban, som er 30 mil fra Cape Town. The government passed a law, the Afrikaner government. Der udstedte den afrikanske regering en that all the people that had biz Indian people that had businesses in the Grey Street area the whole big complex uh, which is just off the high class European shopping area. Up to the European Now these Indians that came to South Africa started <coughs> as workers in the sugar cane fields. And <coughs> sugar plantations, very good. Um, and the government And they built up buildings and things worth thousands of millions. And the government were passing a law to throw them all out. To go to an Indian area. According to the group area's law. So I took a deputation to the ministers in power, Minister of Home Affairs, Minister of Economics, Minister of this, that, and, hmm? and I explained them the position that these people was very hard work. Have built up this area. And it is not nice to throw them out, expropriate their properties. And when you expropriate people's properties, uh, the government gives you one tenth of its real price. Hmm. So this was under Section 21 of the Group Areas Act. And then I was instrumental in have, having put into force Section 17 of the Group Areas Act. So I blew it down to the for in a new paragraph around the world. And I always work in the background. I don't want headlines. 
Jeg ønsker ikke at få overskrifter. So that was done. So now the Indians, this happened about 10 years ago, I think. Og på grund af, at jeg fik tilføjet det her, det her skete i øvrigt for omkring 10 år siden. And all the Indian people are still there where they were and running their businesses. Så er det lykkedes, at alle de indiske mennesker stadig mm. har kun blivet til store. The only thing is, that if a family should move out a residence, If they, if they should move out from that area. Det eneste der selvfølgelig er tilbage er, at hvis nogle af familierne skulle flytte fra området, because they can't transfer it to another Indian. Så kan de and go to their own area. Yes, see. So here, millions and millions and millions of people's hard-earned money was saved. Så millioner er der millioner af hårdarbejdende mennesker senge. And for the for these reasons and so many other reasons, I live in Cape Town. På grund af at dette og mange andre årsager også bor jeg i Cape Town. So these masters that we to go back to the original point. For at gå tilbage til det oprindelige spørgsmål. Mm-hmm. These masters are forced down by what is happening on the planet. Vi er lige med for tvunget til at inkarnere på grund af det, som sker på planeten. They know that they are going into deep suffering. De ved, at de, når de inkarnerer, vil komme igennem meget lide, meget lidelse. Mm-hmm. And it is not only their personal suffering, but they suffer because of the suffering of others. Det er ikke så meget deres personlige lidelser, som at de lider på grund af andres lidelser. Yes. That is why Jesus' life was not happy outwardly. Det var derfor, at Jesus' liv mm. øh, udefra øh, ikke så særlig lykkeligt ud. Everyone rejected him. Alle afviste ham. Mm. The Jews did not like him. Mm. The Sanhedrins, the Zealots did not like him. Sanhedrin. The Roman rulers did not like him. Mm. And in the end he was crucified. Oh, in the, A horrible death. Mm. Yes, see. And the funny part of this is this, mm. that when his own disciple Judas gave him away, and the other one said before the clock, or the crow, crows thrice, you will deny me. And when he was crucified, all his closest disciples ran away. He had a maximum of only 500 followers. The 5,000 that gathered With the three loaves of bread and fish. Mm. They were curiosity mongers and government people. And even having just 500 followers, his words are still alive now after 2,000 years. Because, like Buddha and Krishna and Christ, they don't care what happens to them. They live for the love that they can give people and how they could benefit. De lever for den kærlighed, de kan give folk og for det gode. So those masters that have become one with God come down for this purpose. 
To love and love and teach and teach and show people the path. And therefore Jesus said that I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. Yes. And this happens to all of those masters without exception. In this century, at the beginning of century, we had some, they were not uh, in the class or category of Buddha or Christ, but they were highly realized people. The Ramakrishna was suffering of cancer. Hmm? The realized man. Raman Maharshi also had a very severe cancerous ailment. Hmm? Um, Swami Vivekananda suffered very severely of asthma for three years before he died. Swami Vivekananda had a very, very severe case of asthma the last three years of his life. Swami Ramtirsa was a very sickly man. Ramtirsa was also a very sick man. And even your Guru Raj suffers from his heart, had an open heart operation. Mm-hmm. Severe diabetic, I've got to take insulin injection every day. Mm-hmm. I've got cancer here. Mm-hmm. But these true masters never think of themselves. <laughs> Pardon. Because as soon as they start thinking of themselves, then they will start building their egos by becoming self-centered. They are thinking of themselves. But a true master always thinks of others and neglects his body. Because because they've realized that this body is so transient, it's here today and gone tomorrow. Hmm? Who wants to think about something that is a flash? They are always thinking of that which is eternal, the eternal spirit. Now, if true masters put their thoughts to themselves, then the spiritual energy which they send out will be blocked. Like in last night's uh, chart we drew here, I showed you how the ego has to be blotted away, or annihilated, or sublimated, or whatever you want to. So that the superconscious mind uh, and the conscious, pure consciousness could flow out of them to others to help them. So that the rene, rene bevidsthed and the superbevidsthed can flow out of free to others for help. Many people do not realize consciously 
what great benefits they receive. Mange mennesker er i virkeligheden ikke um, har i virkeligheden ikke indset hvilke store uh, gaver de har modtaget. By even just being in the presence of a true master. It is not only the words you hear from me, the words of wisdom and understanding. And seeing things from a different perspective. Mm-hmm. But also the spiritual force that a true master keeps on emanating and sending forth to all those that come near him. Men det er også det at være til stedværelsen af den øh, åndelige energi, som han sender frem, og som alle øh, modtager. You can ask these people that are close to me, like in England, America, here, everywhere, that any stranger I would meet, I would put a smile on his face, make him happy, just by a few words. I kan spørge hver eneste af dem, som står mig nær her i Danmark og alle over hele kloden, at hver eneste fremmede, jeg har mødt, har altid forladt mig med et smil. Bare ved at fortælle ham et par ord, sit par ord til ham. Yes, and when you flow, the self-realized person, when he flows with the force of the superconscious level, og når den selvrealiserede mand begynder at flyde, Mm-hmm. Everything he wants, he just thinks of a little, and it just comes right. Så hvad alt hvad han overhovedet behøver, mm-hmm. behøver han blot at tænke på, og så sker det. Yeah. For example, I applied for my Danish visa in London. For eksempel så uh, ansøgte jeg mit dansk. And normally it takes four. 